This is Vamsi from Tech Fortress, and in this video, I'll be uh, looking through the issue of uh, home button or the uh, fingerprint sensor not working on your OnePlus 3. So, yeah, uh, the problem is I installed Oxygen OS 3.2.6 prior to the installation of Redirection Remix with the custom OS, and the fingerprint sensor was working fine on the official 3.2.6 Oxygen OS. And when I re when I installed the custom uh, Redirection Remix OS is stopped working. So the solution over here is you need to uh, install a prior version or uh, a a version which is like 3.2.4 the official OS and then you need to install that and then you can actually uh, install any custom work, custom OS to make the fingerprint sensor working. So let's go do that. Yeah, let me go show you on my system the files required to revert back. Uh, you need to install the official uh, recovery, which is Oxygen OS recovery, and then yeah, let's continue the process. Yeah, on your Windows PC, you need to download uh, the Oxygen OS, which is a uh, 3.2.4. So, from what I had read in, read in the uh, XDA developers forum. If you are using 3.2.6, the fingerprint sensor or the home button on the OnePlus will not be working. So yeah, let's download this thing. Continue download. I'll be post posting. I'll, like, I'll be pasting the link in the description for the video. Description in the video. So yeah, let's go. Yeah. You need to have the official uh, recovery, which you can download it from here. Yeah, Oxygen recovery. Download that too. I'll be showing you how to flash that. And yeah, download this by clicking that. I had previously downloaded that and placed it on the desktop. So download that and download the recovery. And once you're done with that, you need to download this ADB fastboot uh, driver tool, like which installs the ADB fastboot uh, commands for your uh, command prompt. And you can use ADB, uh, ADB and fastboot commands everywhere on your PC using the command prompt. So download this tool. And I'll be posting this link, all links also in the description. Yeah, and then open the ADB setup. So what this does is, uh, it will install the ADB and fastboot commands uh, system wide, so it, so that you can use it uh, anywhere in the system. You don't need to have that ADB.exe and fastboot.exe files in the folder. So yeah, install it as system wide command. Yeah. Click yes. And then you'll be uh, so now. Let us continue. Uh, now, these are the four files which I'll be using. Uh, these are the OnePlus ones, uh, official official 3.2.4 OS, and the official recovery, which is recovery dot image, and this is the custom recovery wrp dot image, and this is the custom OS which I'll be installing once the once I revert back to the official 3.2.4. Yeah, and now to open the command prompt in this working directory, the present working directory, which is the desktop, you can I can press the shift, uh, the right shift on your PC, and then if you tap the right click on your mouse, you'll be having an extra option, which is open command window here. So that's a small trick which you can use uh, for getting work done prop easily. And so yeah, let's. Um, before that, you need to enable. ADB on your uh, Android device. Let's go check that now. And then go to uh, go to about phone and keep tapping on the build number more than six times. So you'll be having the developer settings. Yeah, go to developer settings. Uh, yeah, these are the developer options which you'll be having. That's the extra option which is created. Go to that and scroll down and then enable Android debugging. So this will enable a uh, yeah, USB debugging. Yeah, the system is recognized. Now let's go check the remaining process. To do that, uh, click on this thing. This command ADB space reboot. That will take you to the fast boot mode on your OnePlus. And yeah, now you need to flash the official uh, recovery, which is uh, recovery dot image. So just type in this command to. That's the official recovery, which is ADB. It's possible. Mm. 
and then the recovery.image the name of the file which you are going to flash once that's done uh, the recovery will be flashed on your oneplus 3 which is the official oxygen recovery now let's continue the process on your phone yeah, as you can see the uh, phone is in fast boot mode now let us uh, change it to recovery mode to do that uh, keep uh, keep pressing the volume key uh, and I can uh, once once the recovery mode is appeared you need to uh, click the power button so yeah that's the oxygen recovery as you can see over here you need to yeah, it's kind of blurry the brightness is like too high <laughs> and my lens is not good. okay now uh, go to English select English and then you need to select that install from ADB option which is over there and then allow the upgrade I need to click OK over there and this is the yeah, side uh, ADB side load mode so you need to send the uh, send the uh, 3.2.4 update from your PC using the uh, using the ADB commands so now let's continue that on the PC and that was the phones connected in the ADB side load option so now let us uh, continue the installation process so uh, this is the command which you need to enter to send the file via USB using the ADB side load thing. So it is ADB space side load space, and this is the file name which you need to enter. And you can't type the whole thing, so the, uh, I'll tell you once uh, how to do that. Just type the starting starting letter which is shift O, and it's case sensitive. Uh, it's a caps lock O N E and hit on the tab. So on your keyboard that will that will fill up the remaining name and yeah do that and click on the enter and the process should start. And this will take a while uh, for the process to be done. You need to keep uh, pressing the volume down button and then uh, highlight the fast boot mode and then press the power button and then you'll be in the fast boot mode. Yeah, now let us go to the PC and then flash uh, TWRP which recovery which is similar to the previous process. Yeah, let's go do that. Yeah, on your PC it's similar to the same thing. Uh, keep holding the shift, right shift and then uh, if, you key, uh, if you place it in the folder where you downloaded the TWRP recovery and then right click that, you'll be getting an extra option which is uh, uh, yeah, open command window, command window here. That will take you to the current working directory. And now we can actually check whether the device recognized, which is fast boot devices. Sorry, I made a mistake over there. Yeah. And, uh, as you can see, that's the device which is over here. That's my OnePlus 3, which is in fast boot mode. Now let me flash the TWRP recovery, which is uh, I downloaded the TWRP recovery image. I'll be putting the links in the description, description below, below for you to download it. Yeah. Now let's put FAST keyword fast boot. TWRP.IMG That will flash the TWRP recovery on your phone. Now on your phone you can actually reboot to the TWRP and then for, uh, copy the files and then install it. Yeah, let, me uh, let me reboot my uh, phone. Pressing the volume down button and it will be having a recovery mode option displayed on the top and then press the power button to select that. It will take you to the recovery which is TWRP custom recovery. Ah, uh, it's booted up. It is booting up and once this is booted, you'll be having an access to the internal file storage. Yeah, let me let me wait for that. Yeah. Uh you can actually skip that. And now you'll be having the uh, access to the internal files. So you can copy the custom recovery files, which are uh, custom, sorry, custom OS, which is the resurrection remix, uh, zip file and the G apps file. Let me do that on the PC. On my PC, I'm copying the files, which are the installation files, which are resurrection remix zip and the G app zip. And let us continue the process on the phone once the copying is done. Yeah, those files are copied. Now let's go install them on a, on my phone one plus three. Tap on is install TWRP resurrection and then add more zips or tap on the add more zips 
and then GS and then swipe to flash. And there is no charge, uh, charge <laughs> yeah, there is no charge in my laptop. And let me switch that off. This will take a while, and I will be back once the installation is done. The installation is completed. Let me set it English. And yeah. Option to add is a fingerprint sensor. Uh, now it is working and it is asking me to set up the fingerprint sensor and everything. Let's check that. Let's skip anyway. So this is how you make your fingerprint sensor work back or uh, get it back to life. Yeah. See, I'm tapping the fingerprint sensor and it is working now. And this is how you do how you what uh, get your fingerprint back uh, fingerprint back to the normal state. Thanks for watching the video people. This is Wamsi from Tech Fortress and if you like this video or do subscribe and